Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and I wanted to do this really quick video to share with you guys. The Lord wanted me uh, to, to kind of go into more details about uh, a video that I did. Uh, I call it a love letter uh, from God and I'll just post it here so if you guys haven't seen it, you can actually check that out. Most people don't focus on me or consider me in their lives. They focus on themselves and their desires. And this, this is basically what the Lord told me. Whenever we don't focus on the Lord or even think about the Lord or consider Him, when we're making decisions and, and things like that for our lives, we don't even consider even bringing the Lord into it or asking Him what He thinks about it or getting some guidance or instructions from Him. Um, and we just focus on ourselves. I want this. I want this person. I want to marry this person. I'm going to do this. Woe is me. Everything is wrong. I'm not blessed. I'm, you know, whatever. We're turning into ourselves and we're just totally focused and consumed on ourselves and our problems and what we want. Okay, what the Lord actually is telling me, this is idolatry. It's like self-idolatry. We are so consumed with ourself and not God or even others. Well, I want to talk about a person that I know that is a narcissistic uh, type of person. And this person, he actually knows that he's narcissistic. He's actually said, agree with it. And so, um, but he's very self-consumed with his self. It's like a, um, a self-idolatry type of uh, lifestyle mindset that he has. Um, if you are having a conversation with anyone that is narcissistic type of person, you can, some, something so bad could have just happened to you and they could have just, you know, stomped their finger. And you can start talking about, oh, I'm in the emergency room. They'll say, well, I hurt my finger today. You know, it always has to go back to them in their life. Even if, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. It's like they're just not um, into or cares. They don't care about no one else but themselves. That's self-idolatry. And we get into that whenever we get so focused on our problems, uh, what we want. You know, we're praying for things. That's all we think. When we think about the Lord, we think about things and praying and how we can get things. And we're so consumed with just only wanting things, money, you know, and, and you know, and we don't even actually, you know, want to spend time with the Lord or even, you know, um, Him to be a part of things. We're just so consumed with what we want and our desires. So this is what the Lord's saying here, that most people don't focus on Him or consider Him in their lives. They are so focused on themselves and their desires. We should be able to get out of ourselves and start letting God be a part of our lives. Here in the second part, he says, I desire to be a part of my people's lives every day. Okay? So once you become a believer, once you become a born again uh, filled with God's Holy Spirit, once you become filled with God's Holy Spirit, you are now a born again believer. You are God's child because you have His Spirit. The Bible talks about those who don't have God's Spirit is not of His. So we have to have God's Spirit. Um, and But when you have this covenant relationship with God, He desires to be a part of your life. You know, you have a covenant with Him. He wants to be your God and He wants you to be His child. And so that, that's a relationship. And so now you have a relationship with the living God that you can actually know intimately. The Bible talks about God walked with a lot of people in the Old Testament. He walked with Enoch. He walked with a few people, different people in the Bible. And him and Moses had a great relationship, you know. Um, the Lord actually saw Moses as, you know, someone. He, he didn't see Moses as a prophet. He saw someone Moses as someone where he had a, a intimate relationship with, where he communicated with Moses mouth to mouth. It had He had a face-to-face -face relationship with with Moses. It was different. It wasn't like any relationship that he had with others. And so the Lord now wants to walk with us. Okay. It's, it's a difference when you're actually walking with God every day, 
That's an intimate relationship. You're walking with him. You're agreeing with him. You're on one accord with him. That's what walking with him is. And that is him being a part of everything that you do. Decisions that you make, he's a part of that. You know, you can't you can't walk with him really close if he's not a part of everything that you're doing. But here, here he's saying he desires to be a part of his people's lives every day. He desires to be a part of his our lives, you guys. And so... Um, what I wanted to, to read down here is that Moses, like the cool thing about Moses that I really, really like is that you read a lot of people wanting things from God. Like they wanted things from God. You know, Solomon, he wanted wisdom. And, you know, you have different people that wanted different things from God. But this is really cool in Exodus 33, 13. I think it's really cool. Moses here is talking to the Lord. He says, Now therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this people is thy people. And so I thought that was really cool that Moses is actually asking God here, you know, um, to show him his ways. He wanted to know God's ways, you know, how God does things. And he, he said that, I want to know thee. He said, show me your way so that I will know thee. He actually wanted to know God. Okay, not just know about God. Not to know how I can get saved and just get into heaven. Not that or just having, you know, the, the rules, you know, the commandments and just living by the commandments. He actually wanted to know God. Because I'll tell you this. When you have the rules, you can be doing all the rules, everything, you know, you're, you're doing all the things the Bible says to do, you know, as a Christian, you're living a good life, you're going to church, you're fellowshipping, you're reading and studying your Bible, you're helping other people, you're doing all of those things. But I'll tell you this, you're missing something. It's about the relationship with God. Those things are a part of loving God and loving people, you know, fellowshipping and worship and, and working, doing works and, and giving and, you know, uh, ministering and doing all of those things. That That's a part of love and loving people and loving God. But the relationship part, that is God being a part of everything that you do in your life every day. That's him being a part of your life. That's what a relationship is. So we can't cut that part out and just make our own dis uh, decisions and not even let the Lord be a part of anything and not even communicate with him and ask his, uh, you know, advice and, and things. We can't just cut that out and ignore him and not let him be a part of our lives and think we have the relationship. We may be doing everything, all the works and living the great Christian life without the relationship with God. And this is what the Lord told me. Uh, the Jewish people um, in the Old Testament, they when um, when Moses gave the the commandments to them, the law. Moses gave them the law, and what the Lord told me is that they didn't understand the covenant. The Jewish people didn't understand the covenant. They thought the covenant was about being perfect, which everything the Lord gave them. That's the lifestyle He wanted them to have. So the Lord was telling me that they didn't see that this covenant was about having a relationship with God. They thought it was about them just being perfect. That's what they thought. That's all they thought it was. Just being, you know, the people of God is just about you being perfect. They didn't know that a relationship was attached to this. You know, I can actually have a relationship with God. Something personal, like my forefathers, like Abraham, like Moses, you know. They can actually have that type of relationship also. But they didn't see the relationship part. Like We have to do the same exact thing. We have to see that we can actually have a personal relationship with God. God the Father through the Lord Jesus. That's, that's the reason why the Lord Jesus came. So that we can actually have a relationship with the Heavenly Father. Because no person, no man can come to the Father except through the Son. So Jesus came so that we can actually come to the Father and have a relationship with Him and know Him, communicate with Him, and for Him to be a part of our lives. He wants to be a part of our lives. Here He's saying, most people don't focus on me or consider me in their lives. They focus on themselves and their desires. I desire to be a part of my people's lives 
every day. Please let me in. Please let me in. Consider me in your daily things. Consider me. This is God saying this. He's saying, please let me in. Please let me in. Please let me in. He's knocking at our door. He wants to come in. In Revelations 3.20, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. This is the Lord asking us, please let, it, please let me in, please let me in, please let me in. He wants to be a part of your everyday life, you guys. And one of the things that I always teach people, always invite the Lord in. I don't know if you guys were able to follow um, uh, the 40 days of prayer that we did, but the first prayer that we would pray uh, the 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. prayer in the morning was inviting the Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit into your day, every day. That's very mandatory because you want the Lord to be a part of everything that you're doing that day. And you have to invite Him, the Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit to be a part of your day. The Lord does not force Himself on us. You know, He will knock, but you have to open the door and invite him you have to say come in i want you to be a part of this decision i'm making god i want you to be a part of everything i have to do today at this job i want you to be a part of this decision lord i'm on this phone with this customer and she's getting really you know uh you know frustrated with me father i ask that you help me to be at peace and to say the right things you're asking him to be a part of that conversation with that customer you know he's a part of that with you it's every single thing that you have to do in your life. He wants to be a part of it. He's saying here, please, please, please let me in. I desire to be a part of my people's lives every day. Okay, that's every day. Then here I have a few things about, you know, the Lord is with us 24 hours a day. When we're born again, we have his Holy Spirit. He's with us 24 hours a day. So when we don't invite him or, you know, basically acknowledge that he's there, we're ignoring him. Okay. And in Exodus, Deuteronomy, different places in the Bible, um, when uh, Moses actually gave us the co the um, gave the Jewish people the com commandments, the covenant, um, he was actually said, you know, don't forget the covenant of the Lord in uh, Deuteronomy four twenty three, uh, Deuteronomy six twelve. He's saying, beware lest thou forget the Lord who brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Like he's constantly telling him, hey. Don't forget the Lord. Don't forget what he did. You know, don't forget, you know, uh, his commandments. Don't forget his laws. Don't forget this stuff. And definitely don't go worship idols. Focusing on our own desires is self-idolatry. And we don't want to do that, okay? So God's desires is to be with us every day, uh, to be a part of everything that we do every day. Uh, he wants us to invite him in. He really, really desires that. He wanted me to do this video and just talk about it, uh, go through the different parts and just talk about it. So this is one of my favorite uh, parts to talk about is because, you know, it's really simple to do. You just ask the Lord to be a part of it. And when you're going throughout your day, you just think about him and say, okay, Lord, you know, I, I, I just ask that you be a part of, you know, helping me. Like if you're going to the store, Lord, I ask that you just be a part of when I go to the store, help me find some good deals, you know? And I'm telling you, just you inviting the Lord to go to the store with you to help you find good deals, you're going to find the best deals in the store that day because you're asking him to be a part of it and you're asking him to help you. And he will because you have a covenant with him. This is your covenant relationship with him. He is the best friend, you know, ever that you can have. He's always with you. He's there and he just wants you to invite him in. He wants to be a part of everything that you're doing. And he wants you to focus on him more than you focus on yourself and your desires. Okay? Um, that's something he's saying. The first part is saying most people don't focus on me or consider me in their, in, in their lives. And so he wants us to focus on him and consider him in our lives. So, alright you guys. This part, I mean, I, I love this. I love talking about um, just God's heart and what he wants with us. You know, um... You know, he really seriously wants a special relationship with us and each person, you know, each person. He wants a special relationship with each person. And I think it's really, um, it's really special and, you know, and it just shows what type of God he is. You know, he, he created us and he didn't just create us 
to leave us alone and not to have a relationship with us. After Adam and Eve uh, fell, um, he still wanted a relationship with, you know, people. And so you can actually give him an opportunity to have a relationship with you. So invite him to be a part of your day. Um, let him be a part of your day. Think about him uh, as much as poss possible each day. Focus on him more than you focus on yourself and your own desires. And um, learn him. Learn his will. Read, study about him. And open your heart to him every day. Alright you guys. God bless.